In this section, we are going to learn about functions and methods. So far, we have seen two ways of processing data in Python with operators and functions. We have used operators which processed two values on either side of the operator. We have also used functions like print, sum and type. Functions are very similar to operators. In fact, the only real difference is how they look. Function inputs are put in parentheses rather than being placed next to an operator. And functions have names rather than short symbols. Let's see an example, some function. Take input to add two numbers like this. We have saved our sales numbers into a variable sales. And now we are summing these two numbers like this. Similar results can be obtained using plus operator like this. So this is function name and this is the input variable that has sales values. If you remember in early lectures we tried to sum two sentences. My name is Rizwan, your name is Smith. And we got an error that we cannot sum two strings because some function can be applied to numbers only. This has led us to third technique for operating on values, methods. Methods are related to functions, but unlike functions, methods are associated with specific types of objects or data. Let's see an example of string method and how it works. Income statement for the year ending 31st December 2020. This is our sentence. Note that the entire sentence is in lower case. Now let's convert it into title case like this. And here is our sentence converted to title case. Let's understand this. This is our sentence in quotes to let the python know it is a string. This is our function to convert the sentence into a title case. And in the middle, we have this dot. Python string method rule is to use a dot after a string, followed by method we are applying. We know that a number cannot be a title case. Otherwise, we will get an error. Title function did not work on numbers. So methods are functions that belong to an object. Objects such as a string. You have just experienced that there are functions specific to data types and are called methods. Let's see one more example. This time convert the string into uppercase like this. You have probably noticed that when we call the title and upper methods, we used parentheses. But we haven't put anything in them like we did when calling sum, type, int and other functions. Those inputs in the parentheses are called arguments. Since methods are special type of functions that belong to an object, the object always the first argument to a method. So title and upper actually did have an argument, although there was nothing in the parentheses. The argument is disguised as a string object. We have just seen that the upper and title methods do not have any argument in the parentheses as they don't accept it. However, some other string methods allow additional arguments in the parentheses and they become very useful. 
let me show you with an example when these additional arguments become helpful. Suppose in the string that we are using in our previous examples, income statement for the year ending 31st December 2020, we would like to know how many times the alphabet A is used in the sentence. For that purpose, the string method count would be useful. We provide this additional argument A in the parentheses. Let me run this and there are two A's in our string sentence. The structure is the same as in previous example. The object followed by a dot and then method name. This time we are providing an additional argument within parentheses. That makes the language more powerful as we can work with many different aspects of looking at our data. Let us see another example which takes an additional argument in parentheses. Same string but this time with another string method find. In this example, we want to find the alphabet O's first occurrence in the sentence. O is in position 3. Before we start counting, let me introduce you the counting or indexing rule in Python. Generally, when we count something, we start from 1. However, some programming languages, including Python, start counting from 0. That is called indexing rule in Python. Now let's count to see O is on position or location 3 in the string. They are starting from 0, I is on position 0, N is on 1, C is on 2, and O is on location or position 3. If you are interested to know more string methods in Python, I would encourage you to visit W3 school website for detailed list of string methods. So take away from this lecture is difference between operator, function and a method.